Hello there. Executor key and fader configurations can be saved and reused, giving you more flexibility for your executor handles. To start, all configurations are stored in an executor configuration pool, which you can set up like any other window. ME Lighting has kindly provided us with some pre made executor configurations. Bless him. By default, each object assigned to an executor has a configuration already set, but you can customize this in the Assign menu. For instance, key and encoder assignments that differ from the original configuration are highlighted with a cyan bar, making them easy to spot. The default executor configuration preferences are stored in Preferences and Timings. To set the default configuration, access Menu, navigate to Preferences and Timings, and choose Executor Config. Here you can assign specific configurations as the default for each object type. Within the Assign Menu title bar, you'll see three options. Executor Config, which displays the current configuration and opens the selection menu when tapped. Load, which applies a chosen configuration to your keys and faders. Save, which saves any changes made to the current configuration. Let's choose the new configuration option. We can see a copy was made of the configuration we previously had, ready for us to edit as a different configuration. I would like to make an executor configuration where my key has the flash function and the fader is the master. I will also extend the height so I can add more functions. Specifically, I would like the key of the added row to have the select fixtures function. Now we only have to save this configuration via the save button. In the Executor Configurations window, we can now further edit this configuration. When editing a configuration, you can adjust settings such as the name. We can also add scribbles and appearances and write a note about this config. You can view dependencies and references by tapping List References. And if you've updated a configuration that other executors also use, applying Recos config will implement these updates across all relevant executors. Settings such as the handles width, height, and starting row allow you to fine-tune layouts for different rows if needed. Each configuration also has an exact config type defining the object type it applies to, accessible through a quick select pop-up. Let's assign the sequences for the other fixtures in the rig to execute the row 200. Now we can easily assign our master configuration to these executors. Let's make two other executor configurations. The first will be a temp button, because I want the key to respect the timing stored in the sequence. We will assign some sequences, containing intensity, color values and an off time of 0.4 seconds to executor row 100, just below the sequences we have previously assigned. Via the handle tab, choose a new executor configuration, set the key to temp and save this. Going back to the executor configurations pool, we can edit the label and settings. Now we only have to assign this configuration to all of the sequences and we are done. Let's assign the dim effect sequences on row 400 of the executors. We want these sequences to turn on and off via a toggle button. We follow the same procedure and make a toggle button configuration. Because this row of executors also has a rotary encoder, we can also define the function of this encoder. When the encoder is a master, turning left will decrease and turning right will increase the output. However, we can assign any key function to the rotary encoder turning left or the encoder turning right. It is even possible to write syntax in the encoder button for infinite custom applications. Using the MA button on your console acts as shift, enabling double functionality of the rotary encoder. For example, the rotary encoder might work as a normal intensity master, but when holding the MA key acts as a go minus and a go plus. A quick note here. Encoder commands work exclusively and independently of the default encoder function. So editing an encoder's function will reset any commands assigned to it, and vice versa. So, just create your favorite executor configurations once and apply them where you want. There's no need for repetitive tasks, only more time for creativity. Happy programming!